Australia's current climate policy approach leans heavily on unlimited offsets to get to net zero emissions. The problem is, every dollar we spend on offsets is a dollar not spent on actual decarbonisation, and the risk is that this is likely to result in an increase in emissions. New Australia Institute research shows that investment in new renewable energy generation in Australia has declined by 50% since 2018. In the same time frame, carbon offset projects have tripled. This is likely because the Australian government's current climate policy, the Emission Reduction Fund, encourages polluters to buy carbon credits to offset their excess carbon emissions. The number of projects registered to produce Australian Carbon Credit Units, or ACUs, reached 385 in 2022, up from 199 in 2021, and 158 in 2020. Early numbers suggest even higher numbers in 2023. One of the biggest problems with the ERF though is that it is discouraging investment in actual decarbonisation. If a company can go the cheap and easy route to buying some carbon credits, then why would they invest in renewable energy or invest in potentially expensive new technology that would actually lower their emissions? Australia used to have a climate policy that encouraged decarbonisation. Back in the year 2000, the Australian government introduced the RET, or the Renewable Energy Target. This essentially set out a target for renewable energy as a percentage of Australia's total energy generation. This target was reached early in 2019. All good news, right? Well, since the target was met, a new one hasn't been introduced, essentially phasing out the policy, and we've seen a slump in renewable energy investment since. But it gets worse. Under the RET, Australia saw a decrease in emissions. In 2022, the RET achieved 45 million tonnes of emissions reduction. Compare that to at best 18 million tonnes by the Emission Reduction Fund's carbon credits. On top of that, the carbon credits that companies are purchasing might not even represent real reductions in emissions. Research from the Australia Institute and others have shown that there are serious concerns about the integrity of up to 75% of Australian carbon credits. For example, credits have likely been issued for not cutting down trees that were never going to get to cut down in the first place. Instead of encouraging investment in genuine decarbonisation, which leads to genuine emissions reduction, Australia's climate policy encourages polluters to invest in dodgy carbon credits that give them licence to increase their emissions. Currently, Australia has no policies that drive investment in real decarbonisation projects. The Safeguard Mechanism and the Powering of the Regions Fund offer enormous opportunities for genuine emissions reduction but they are poised to siphon money to the carbon offset industry. The federal government is now at a policy crossroads between investment in renewables and genuine decarbonisation, or the previous government's creative accounting tricks. Policies like the renewable energy target drive permanent decarbonisation in industry, while offset purchases simply allow polluters to delay the change.